All right, Francine bearing down on Louisiana over the next 24 hours. We're going to start to feel the effects here along the Gulf Coast, not just here, inland too. So if you're watching and you are in the south, really anywhere as far east as Alabama into Tennessee, Mississippi, we're going to have those feeder bands coming in like this. That could mean severe weather with the potential for some tornadoes as you get that change of wind direction with height, those feeder bands coming into the storm that could cause tornadoes. Torrential rain too possible. Let's take a look at the wind field as we head into uh, Wednesday. Check this out. By Wednesday evening, late Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, that looks to be when we see landfall. These gusts right here around that center core will likely be over hurricane force. And then look at the wind spreading inland as we move into the overnight into early Thursday morning. So now 6, 7, 8 a.m., southern and central Mississippi. These winds could gust over 50, maybe even 60, especially with some of the stronger bands that will likely persist. So wherever this core goes, I think here on the north and east side, that's where you're going to get the strongest winds kind of coming in like this. Sort of a bad drawing there. Let's move a little bit further to the north. This is more of a vantage across Mississippi over into Arkansas. Our winds kind of coming in out of the north and northwest. But here on the east side, that southeast circulation, Again, all the way up into northern Mississippi, I think we've got the winds blowing. We could have some damaging winds. Some trees could come down. Some power outage is certainly possible. And it's going to be gusty, too, even into Alabama and Tennessee. The wind field does start to weaken as we head into Friday and then look even into Saturday. Uh, still that broad circulation here, but by this point, I think the concern is going to be the potential for some heavy rain, some flooding, too. The problem with this is what looked like was going to pick it up, this trough here back to the west. The latest runs are really trying to not really allow that to happen. In fact, this high here in the upper level is getting stronger just to the east. And the driving mechanism, look, really isn't there. So we may be dealing with some residual moisture. And a couple of the models are trying to develop something else early next week that may impact the east coast. Still a little too early on that one, but that's worth watching. Let's put the precipitation in motion here. Dry here across the northeast, also across the midwest through Wednesday and into the Thursday. There comes the moisture into the south here ahead of, uh, of Francine pulling into the deep south. Our trough here across the west bringing some unsettled wet weather to the Pacific Northwest with some rain showers. And then we stay wet here along the Mississippi Valley into the deep south. Look, this onshore flow is going to continue through Friday into Saturday. And uh, also here into the Atlantic, you're going to get some Atlantic moisture. That's going to keep the showers around across the deep south. Uh, also into the mid-south through at least Sunday. Again, what happens right here off the coast? I think you got to watch this. The European from this afternoon trying to develop something right here off the North Carolina coast sometime into Monday. Still a little bit too early to tell. Let's take a look at the GFS and see what it's spitting out over the last couple of runs. There goes Francine. And I kind of glossed over this too. There's quite a bit of cold air here into the mountains of the Northwest across parts of Idaho, also Western Montana, parts of Wyoming. There could be some snow mixing into the highest elevations. The GFS also giving into the idea that that moisture just kind of hangs around through the weekend and then again, do we see something tropical in nature by early next week here off the North Carolina coast? The GFS trying to show that disturbed weather here. Either way, I think it starts to bring in some rain here into the Carolinas. And then as we head into next week, we're looking really far out now. We're over seven days now going into next Thursday. You know, I mean, at this point, it looks unsettled here across the east. Either way, I think it's humid. You've got the tropical moisture just kind of lingering uh, once we get rid of Francine. Storm Prediction Center highlighting the Gulf Coast heading into Wednesday for more thunderstorms that could be severe, and that's mostly associated with the potential for some tornadoes as we see that landfalling tropical system here, especially the further close you get to the coast. That will eventually extend a little bit further to the north as we head into, uh, into Thursday. So now watch out here in the parts of northern parts of Alabama, up into Mississippi, maybe even as far north as Tennessee, and then across uh, the northwest with our system back here, the potential for some storms that could get a little strong from parts of South Dakota, North Dakota, back into Montana. So very active over the next couple of days across the country. Thanks for watching. See you next time.